Hi guys, this is Gazem here. Thanks for tuning into another training video. Today I'll be teaching you how to create an image popping effect with sound in Keynote. I'll also provide you with the source files if you want. And just uh, put down your email in the comments and I will email you the source files. So let's get started by opening up Keynote. Here I have the source file set up. I have kept the ice cream cup image and the popping sound effect. These are the two elements which we'll be using in this uh, training video. So let's get started by opening up Keynote. I'll just uh, minimize this window. Open up your Keynote and just choose the white theme and just click on choose. You can just click on this sample text and hit delete to delete these text boxes. Next thing you need to do is place our image here. You can just go up to the folder where you have saved the images and click and drag the image inside Keynote and you can resize by grabbing any of the top edges and just resize it diagonally. Once you have resized the image, you can click on animate and click on build in and click on add an effect and from here you can choose the effects you can apply to this object or the image. I'll just click on this one, the pop one and if you want to preview it, it will just show you how it will pop up and you can also set the duration of this from 0.75 to seconds to 1 second I'll just set it to 1.00 and this this is the pop effect we have for set up for this but you can also add the popping sound effect to come with it as the image pops out to add that uh, sound effect you can just go up to the folder where you have saved your images and click and drag the sound effect inside the keynote now the thing is once you have that done it changes the order to to here which means the sound effect will come just after the image pops up but we want the sound effect to come with the image popping out so you can change the order here you can instead of doing this just click on this image and click on build order here and now you can see it will start on the click the image will pop but the second pop effect will come after the build one so you can click on this which where it says start click on this drop down menu and you can have to click on it should start with build one so build one is our ice cream image you just click on this so now the image will pop with the sound effect applied to it click on the ice cream image and from the building duration from one second I'll just set it to 0.80 and let's see how it comes now it's matching the popping sound effect suppose you want to add it on two objects you can do it the same method just duplicate this ice cream image I'll just uh, move this part to the right just click on this image and while holding down 80 on the keyboard click and drag anyway and it will make a duplicate of the ice cream image now this is the third image in the build order you can see here so this one we can make it it should go right with build one but let this delay to be set as let it have a delay of one second that means after this image one pops up then this image will come and you can also duplicate the sound effect from by holding down alt on the keyboard click on this sound thumb and click on alt and drag and it will make a copy of it so once you have made the copy of this sound effect it will set the build order as for this one and it will start with build one so let the settings let this be no delay so it will just take that effect so let's just uh, place these images a bit further from each other and now let's hit the play button on the top and hit any key on the keyboard and the animation will start so this is how you create this popping effect i hope you guys have learned something from this training video you can always shoot me an email if you have any questions to ask i'll be happy to answer them if you want these source files just leave your email address in the comments below i will get back to you 
You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel for more training videos and visit my website kalimzen.com to keep yourself updated. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this training video. I will see you in the next videos guys. Thanks. Thanks for watching.